Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. We've, we've been here. Our players have been here pretty much since June. They've had a, a week here and there off. Um, but we've really put a huge focus and emphasis on our culture, like you just said, and kind of laying the foundation of a healthy championship uh, and winning culture. And that's, that takes consistency, time, patience, um, and an incredible amount of investment from everybody involved with the program. So I spent a lot of time trying to put together the right staff to make sure that we had that kind of um, championship culture leadership, uh, just really starting with the people, good people around our players. And then um, we invested our time and energy into our players. So uh, a lot of it on the court, most of it not, to be honest with you, over the summer um, was just really building relationships and getting to know each other because this entire team, uh, this was all of their, really their freshman year with me. None of them signed to play for me. Um, so it was important that we built those relationships because I know that in order for me to be a, the best coach I can be for them, they have to be able to trust me. So that's where we started with this team and we're still doing that. Um, one of the things that I've learned in my coaching career is not to get too far ahead of myself. This is gonna be a long season um, and we're working really hard every day. But the most important thing to me is the relationship I have with my players and the, and, um, the fact that they're gonna know what they're gonna get from me every single day and be able to trust me. And so that's something that we, we spend the most time on. Aria, go ahead. Hi, Shay. Um, you know, I saw the, the photos that you had on um, Nafisa call. You're coming in and talk to your team. And, you know, obviously you did come from, from UConn. So what did having Nafisa in and, and the kind of that experience from UConn, you know, bring to the team? What did she teach, you know, you guys? That's a great question. Um, and one you should, you should definitely ask Jordan when you talk with her later on as well. Um, Cause we, we talked to our players a lot about picking Nafisa's brain. And um, when she came here, she was, she was just trying to get a workout in and wanted to spend some time with, with us, which was really cool, but it was a great opportunity for our players to learn what great leadership on the floor looks like. What is it, what is it like to play with an incredible player? I mean, Olympian, right? She's an Olympian, um, one of the best players in the world, but also one of the best teammates and best leaders on the court um, that I've ever coached. So that opportunity for our players was invaluable. Um, I don't know, and we talked about this a little bit, I don't know that they've had that yet in their playing career, here at Vanderbilt, but for them to be able to experience that, especially my veterans, my older players, to see what incredible leadership looks like, to see the consistency and the way that Nafisa spoke with them when she was playing with them, the way that she helped them, the way that she encouraged them, the way that she constructively criticized them. I think they learned a lot from her. Um, and also just the kind of person she is, the teammate she was to them. She was an Olympian, but she was still trying to make them better. It wasn't about her and the, the selflessness and the humbleness that I mean, she's always exuded, came out, and I was happy that my players were able to experience that firsthand. Bobby. Uh, Shay, I remember you saying that you uh, want your team to play like a up-tempo, fast, and exciting style of play on offense. Uh, what, uh, what are the challenges of, of uh, you know, um, uh, bringing that in when you have a lot of young guards and like making sure that they don't get too crazy with the ball and all that? <laughs> still figuring that out. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It's it, the challenge is that, you know, the idea that I have for this team, I can't be so stuck in it. The challenge is mine. I can't be so stuck in it that I force something on them that may not work for this team. So every day we're working um, and finding a way that best puts our players and our team in a position of success, both on offense and defense. Some of that looks like what I thought it would look like. Some of it doesn't. But it's important for me to um, be flexible and to know my players well enough on the court, off the court, that I can that I can do for them um, what was done for me, which is bring out the best in them, right? Get the, get their highest potential as basketball players. So we're we're still continuously working on it. I think we've gotten a lot better in the last month alone, really the last three weeks, since we've been able to sp spend a lot more time on the basketball court and spend more time together. But I think that will be something that we we play around with all year. We obviously, I don't think it's any, any secret. We lost a ton of scoring um, uh, from some players that left the team. And a lot of players that were on the team, you know, they didn't play for injury reasons. Then the team opted out. So this team hasn't played a game since January. Um, and, you know, Jordan hasn't played. I think she played one full season and she's a senior. 
you know, so there's a lot of, of things that we're working through that don't necessarily have to do with offense and defense, but getting us healthy, getting them time together on the floor, and then figuring out what that looks like for our team is my job. Um, and so we're going to make sure that that we put the right kind of mixture of things that I want to do and things that I think our team can be really good at on the floor so that we can, you know, get, get a great shot of repossession is the goal. Get a great shot of repossession. Okay. Um, and with Demi Washington, I know she, you know, had myocarditis last year and had to miss the season. Is she healthy? She is. She is. Knock on wood. She's, she's healthy. She looks great. Um, and she really has been for the most part since, um, since I got here, you know, she's, she hasn't really stepped out of much. She's done everything. Um, and she's been able to stay healthy. It's been a really cool thing to, to witness. Cause that's very scary. I know it was very scary for her. Bobby. Yeah. Along those same lines with, with Jordan, um, how does she look, you know, coming off the missed season and of course, coming back from the, you know, significant knee injury. She looks great. She looks great. She's, uh, one of, if not our hardest working player, not surprisingly, you know, I had several knee injuries too, and that's just kind of the hallmark of a, a kid that has to fight to be on the floor. Um, and, and when you have something you love taken from you and you can't do it for a long time, I think you really value the time that you get to do it. And you can see that in Jordan, she's matured as a basketball player. Um, we are, I couldn't be happier to have her on the team. She's a great kid. She's a great leader. She's worked her butt off to be able to play the game that she loves. So every day that she gets is a gift to her, but it's also a gift to our team because she makes us better. Um, she's, she's a wonderful leader um, and we're thrilled that she's healthy and hopefully we'll stay that way for the rest of the season. Do you have any more questions for coach? Coach, do you have a um, Halloween costume picked out for the kiddo yet? Well, we have a few. So um, she, she goes, <laughs> Every like week she changes her mind. So today was Halloween. Just, just before I got on the Zoom, I was showing everybody pictures because that's what moms do, right? Um, she was a witch with a broom and everything and face tattoos. We have a party on Sunday at where we live and we also have a fall festival for our team. I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna be for the fall festival because we have competition. Jordan's little brother and Jordan are gonna dress up and we have a costume party. So May May and I are totally going to win it. We're going to be frozen themed. I'll just go with that. That's great insight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christy, you're up next. Go ahead. Hey, Shay. Um, you're not the biggest team. And so from a, de from a defensive perspective, what's some of the focus or points of emphasis right now with this team? Yeah, I think right now, um, Really, the focus is just learning how to be solid. We have to do all the details right on defense. You know, we, we have to make sure we stay in front of people. We have to box out on every shot. We can't give people, you know, second, third shots. Um, and, and we're not there yet. We can't give a lot of points up in transition. We're still working on that. I think the, the question for us is going to be, like, how aggressive can we be? Um, because we don't have a rim protector. Uh, and if we make too many mistakes when we're aggressive, we're going to give up layups, you know, second shots, that kind of thing. But if we sit back, um, then, you know, we won't get as many easy shots as we may need on offense. So I think we're going to have to play around with that a little bit. It may depend on the teams that we're playing. It may depend on um, the progress of our players, um, the, health, the health of our players. We're still playing with that um, in practice, putting different combinations out there, trying different things and uh, seeing kind of what sticks with our team. And that's what I was talking about earlier with offense. I came in with an idea, right? Most coaches do, I'm guessing. Um, you come in with an idea of what you want and then you get on the floor with your team. And I think you have to be confident enough as a coach to know, all right, this isn't gonna work for this team that I have. And I need to be able to, to instill confidence in them, putting them in a position of success. And it's not gonna look like the way I want it to look. And right now defensively, we're, I, I think we're still kind of molding what we're gonna look like. Um, but it's, it's, we've certainly gotten better, but we have a long way to go. So you kind of brought up health. Is everyone healthy? It's, you know. Not everyone. Yeah, not everyone right now, but it's not bad. We don't have anyone with, we just have, you know, already some, some nicks and bruises and things. Um, but it, it's obviously for us, it's every, every single player matters. We need everybody to practice. And, I, and honestly, I need them to practice so they get better. <laughs> it's not even about you know, playing games right now. I, they just need to be on the floor with our team so that we can keep making progress and they can keep getting better. 
Uh, but we have amazing medical staff, amazing athletic trainer, amazing strength coach, all of the resources we need, um, analytics that everybody does. So we're doing everything we can to stay healthy and our kids are doing everything they can. That's just part of playing sports. You know, it's just part of it. So we'll get them healthy, hopefully by the first game. And then knowing that games are right around the corner. And this is probably an unfair question, but is there anything that's keeping you up or not? Any major concerns for this team as you get ready to tip? I just didn't think, you know, I, I don't think that any uh, brand new head coach sleeps their first year. I think that's just like, it come, you know, when you, when you sign that uh, paper, that contract, you just, I, I, there was a few weeks ago, I'm like, why am I awake? It's three o'clock in the morning. And I'm thinking about what we're going to run on offense in this special situation. And what happens if this happens and how am I going to motivate our team? And it's, so I think there's always things that swirl around in my mind, um, and I, I go back and forth between wanting to do so much and then looking at my team and their eyes start to get glassy, you know, and then yep. not, maybe not doing enough. But at the end of the day, um, one of the things I learned at Connecticut was that um, great players make great coaches. And, uh, and when my players trust me and they believe in me and, uh, and we have the kind of relationship where they reach their fullest potential, then, then that's all I have to worry about. All the other things, the X's and O's, that kind of stuff will fall into place. I have a great staff. Um, I'm confident in my abilities as a coach. I just want to be the right coach for them every day. And that's probably the thing that keeps me up at night. Do I know them well enough? Do, am I in bet, you know, have I invested enough time? How, how more can I help them? What more do they need from me? Um, but every day that I get with them, I, I learn more every day. I think we're, we're becoming better together. And I know that it's a process. I just like things done right away. <laughs> I like to, you know, I like to see results right away and I have to be more patient. Um, and I'm learning about that. Shay, you'll sleep in the off season. Oh, good. <laughs> that's, that's what every person wants. That's good. That's, that's encouraging. Thank you. <laughs> all right, coach. I think that's all we got for you today. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing everyone in person. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. You're up. We have Jordan Cambridge coming up here real quick, folks. Hi, everyone. Jordan, how are we doing this morning? I'm great. This morning, it's 12.15. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what time it is anymore. Uh, anybody got a question for Jordan? Use the raise hand function, please. Robbie. Hi, Jordan. Um, kind of an interesting situation where you've had so much time off from your knee injury. Uh, where are you at in terms of knocking the rust off, and where is your confidence level uh, in your knee? Well, first of all, I've spent a lot of time working like working my butt off to get back and it's no secret this wasn't my first time dealing with an ACL so this time around I was way more prepared to tackle it and tackle every day I am completely healthy the rust is completely knocked off because I was just so prepared to go through it I feel like the rust really was around in January when we decided to cancel our season I actually got cleared that same day so I've been working my butt off it's October October now and I'm just ready to play in a game Anybody else for Jordan? Aria, go ahead. Hi, Jordan. You know, we talked to Shay a little bit about how, you know, she brought in Nafisa Collier from UConn. You know, what was that, that visit like for you guys to speak with her? It was awesome. Not just, not just because who she is, but she, like, she's just like, the practice were just different. She came in and our warm up that we have with our strength coach is like so precise and everything has to be perfect. And she came in without knowing anything we were doing and was just like, oh, I got this. I'm going to tackle it. And like that kind of mindset was just like amazing to us. She didn't know any of us before we came in. And a big thing on our team is talking, like learning, like say each other's names, do all of this. She came in and learned about all of our names right away. She got in the drills with us, calling out. She's like, Jordan, Kaylin, Demi, everyone. She's calling everyone's name. And we're just like, you just got here and you're already doing this. This is something that we have to be doing all the time. And it was just nice because her 
her energy and her effort when she was playing against us, it was just different. She was always moving. She was always talking. And I think that was really good for us to see because that's what our coaches want for us. They want us to talk to each other. They want us to give 100% effort all the time. And it was really nice seeing that someone at her level is doing that. And if that's dreams of ours, like that's what we have to get to. That's a standard that we have to get to. Bobby? Uh, Jordan, how do you think the style of play for the team this season will be different uh, relative to the past couple of seasons? Um, I will have to say um, we are playing, wanting to play faster, which we have to be in a lot better shape. Um, and also the fact that we're really small, that's no secret. It's definitely going to be challenging, but um, and different because we've always had at least a little bit of size. So that's going to be a little different, but I think our coaches are, like Coach Falk said earlier, they're putting us in the best positions so we can be successful offensively and defensively. Do we have any other questions for Jordan? Jordan, what, what has preseason been like? How has the team kind of coming together and, and learning coach and coach learning you all? Um, I would say, like Coach Ralph mentioned this, but culture has been like super important for us and for the staff. Like obviously coming in with a new staff, it's like it's a little scary. And like she said, none of us committed to play for her. So it was, it was gonna be an adjustment for all of us. It feels like being a freshman for me all over again, having to learn about a completely new staff six new players coming in. It was just a really big adjustment. And like Coach Bob said earlier, like we, this summer, we spent like obviously a lot of time on the court, but a lot of our time was spent just getting to know each other, like building relationships, building that trust. Because obviously if we don't trust, if we can't trust our teammates, if we can't trust our the staff that we're playing for, it's going to be really hard. But they've done an excellent job of like making sure that we know that they care about us on a deeper level than basketball. And that has been really important for me, especially being a senior and having been with a different staff for three years of my career, having to come in and like build this relationship with Coach Ralph and everyone else has been like extremely important to me. And I really appreciate the time and effort that they continue to put in. And it's not something I can tell that's not gonna be something that just kind of stops once, you know, season gets started. It's gonna be something that we continue to grow because like Coach Ralph said, it's gonna be a long season and that's gonna be on and off the court, so. Christy. Hey, Jordan, speed's been a main part of your game, disruptive. I mean, with all the time off, has there been an emphasis or will we see something different out of you as well as having a new head coach when you get on the floor this season? Um, I've definitely worked to expand my game in more ways. I like Coach Ralph talked about losing like scorers and losing people that we relied on to do those kind of things. Me being a leader and me wanting to be a great player, I've kind of took some time, extra time in the gym so I could work on those things, like like shooting, for example. I think I've really improved my shot this year and I'm excited to like let everyone see it. So it's gonna be more about, I'm known for my defense, but I wanna be known for a little bit more than that because my team is gonna need me to do a lot more than just play defense. So I'm trying to be like an all around player for my teammates so that we can be successful this year. Is there a player that you've been impressed with so far? during preseason that, you know, as soon as the ball gets tipped up, look out? Um, I'll have to say uh, two players. Uh, I know you guys mentioned Demi earlier. She is really, she has really like stepped it up. She has been working her butt off. She looks amazing, looks great, especially everything that she went through um, with her COVID complications. Um, I'm very, very extremely proud of her. Um, our coaches that came in and like asked um, different tasks and she's usually been used to, and she's like, taking it on and and really adjust it well to it. So I'm super proud of her. And then we have a freshman, Ayana Moore, who is really, um, really looking, looking great. And um, uh, she's really just, you know, she's a freshman. So she has her little freshman moments, but she's really up for learning and she's really up for doing whatever she can to help our team and be the best her so that we can be successful.